Hey guys, this is Nathan and welcome to the Gaming 4. Today in this Unturned Dev Kit tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys a few changes that have happened recently. And because of these changes, some tools that I've previously showed you guys how to use have become a little different and are a lot harder to use or maybe a little more complicated. So this should be a pretty quick video where I just review some things and show you some changes that have happened. So the tools I'm going to be going over today are the landscape tools. I'm going to do that briefly and I'm mainly gonna focus on the splat map tool because that one in particular has changed a lot also I want to go over quickly the different special effects that you can place because the way you place those has changed as well so to start us off um, of course you guys should know this if you've watched some of my previous videos if you haven't on the dev kit please do because that'll fill you in on a lot of what you're probably missing out on but like normal uh, all you have to do to start placing your own landscape is make sure you go to the type browser go into decor and then you should see the landscape tile here just click on it once and you should see landscape here in your hierarchy so that's all going to stay the same from how it was before. So after you do this, uh, you may have to switch back and forth between the tabs again. What you should be able to do is get into the tile tab inside of the landscape tool. And once you see that, you should be able to start placing your own tiles. Now, this is how you're going to start placing uh, ground inside of the dev kit. And so, of course, after this point, you can actually expand borders and make extra decorative tiles outside of your map. Another thing that really hasn't changed is that if you place a tile and you don't like it, you can just press the delete key while selecting it, and that'll get rid of it for you. Now, let's move into some of the things that have actually changed, and that would be the splat map tool. So how it used to be is when you go to the tile tab or the splat map tab, I can't remember, you'd see a list of materials that you could use on your tiles themselves this has ceased to exist and what it's been replaced with is this box here with a line in the middle now this confused me for the longest time and actually big shout out to Lucas Sade I think that's how you say his name I'm probably butchering it but his name will be out there on the screen he left me a really nice YouTube comment um, saying that he found the fix for this and really what this bar is with the line in the middle is a search bar I don't know why I didn't think of it I guess I just didn't happen to type while clicking on it, but pretty much it's a search bar. So this sort of fixed a few of the problems because up to a certain point after the change was made, you couldn't actually add materials to your landscape anymore. So after this point, all you have to do is search your materials, and then at that point, click on the landscape, and then you'll be able to add those onto it. Of course, after you do this, uh, everything else should be the same from the tutorial. You should be able to select on a certain tile see the landscape material inside of the tile and get rid of that if you want or you know manipulate them and then height map is stuff is pretty much all the same so just to recap real quick the only thing that's really changed is finding the materials themselves so that's pretty much it for the landscape tool um, the one other thing that I do want to mention that changed as well is how you actually access some of these extra special effects so I was having the same problem with mine as well after it changed I couldn't place anything special like I couldn't place any of the effect volumes kill volumes you know custom water volumes and so once again Another good shout out by a few people in chat. I don't have a specific name, but a couple people were discussing it. Um, and because of them, I was able to figure it out as well. And so for this, uh, like normal, you go to the selection tool. And if you look in the type browser, you should normally just be able to place these. And the way it worked in the past is you just clicked on them, and it would create the kill volume or water volume right in front. It does not do that anymore. What you have to do instead is click on the water volume and then press E in the dev kit editor and that should place the square that will represent the water volume same thing for all the rest pretty much make sure you click out here first then click once on the kill volume or whatever else you're using and then press E directly out onto the landscape and that should be pretty much the same for all of these so, so hopefully that clears up a lot of the questions you guys had obviously it's been a big issue with the dev kit changing so much but hopefully I'll be able to keep track of the changes in the future and inform you guys a lot sooner Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, please like the video if you enjoyed it, and please subscribe if you want to see some more. I will see you all later.